Sloan, I think, has a bit of an advantage here because um, his teammates with Yuval Shalom Freilich and his teammates with Ido Harper, his teammates with Gregory Beskin, who has spent many, many years fencing Max Heinrich, he knows exactly what to do. Um, the Julie team is a very, very modern fencing team off the Italian style uh, with uh, Mazzoni as the coach. So he's not going to be a sit back and, and wait kind of a French gripper. Um, Hines are slowing down a little bit. Could be good. Could be real good. Hines, of course, you know, been been at the top of the world for, for a decade and a half. He's no, he's no slouch and he knows what he's doing. You know, he does the flashy stuff, but I've always felt he's got a very fundamentally sound game that gets hidden behind it. People see the, the crazy flicks and miss the excellent parries and the, the perfect distance that comes before it. I should unmute. Hold on, stepping in, halt, one minute, nothing done. Hands are doing hands are things. He's got that arm out like that. It's kind of, it's kind of a, like he does it and people think he's just low big hands are, but he does it the same way Koch does it. He's looking for, for a counter. He's looking for a parry there. And he's forcing, forcing an early blade action. But alone is a lanky, lanky, lanky. You think he's, you think you're far enough away and then he just has another six inches of lunge in him. So, uh, you know, lots of lots of close actions already. We're rolling pushes, pushes, hands are pushes. Yeah, you know, a double. A lot, a lot of distance here. I don't know who's gonna close it, but um, a little bit more explosive flesh than alone would have had that one. So read. Oh, great touch. Three, four, five shots high, then high, and then he, as he lunges, it's such a such a good thing to do is you lunge and then you just sink into the lunge and it turns into a low line hit. Don't lean, just just sink and drop your tip. And you get almost you get almost two shots for free if you go wrist leg or wrist foot. And a two one up and now Max has to push into into a French gripper. See what he can do. It's just it's just difficult because it's very not. Nah, it's difficult. He does it because it's good, but it's difficult because it's very easy for Lone to keep him away with just small actions. All right, and the first two two, but like an active two two. All right, defending very far away. We have not seen a lot of really risky actions. We have not seen a lot of um, high intensity fencing. We have seen one long action by Sarid. We have seen one good uh, counter counter um, by Heinzer, which drew out Sarid's counter and got him on the wrist. Um, but nothing much beyond that. They're fencing very far away and very safely. Which is probably to Sarid's benefit, because he's got he's got a lot more range than Heinzer. If you can catch Heinzer jumping, then you can do it safely when Heinzer can't really counterattack.
Max pushing hard now, so that's that's the big change where he's now he's in close. He got the touch there before he's trying to repeat it. Double there, nothing done, probably better for Saeed. <clears throat> the other thing is the Israeli coach is Angelo Mattoni, who's one of the best in the world, and I have lost stream. Have I lost stream? I think I have. Stream froze, okay. Um, let's try a refresh. Stream froze. That's so frustrating. Um, I don't know if they all froze. That's a good bet. I have this 3-3-3, Kamata, Koti. Well, we'll watch this one until the other one starts up again. We'll be able to hear it when it goes. I love watching lefties fence. There's something feels a little bit weird about watching righties fence. Because you imagine yourself in their body and then, but everything's backwards because you're supposed to be left-handed. And then you watch righties fence. You watch lefties fence. It's like, oh yeah, this is exactly how I do it. I have a friendship and I flick and I flash exactly like Kazuya, Novi Kazuyasu. I mean, it would be so good at going relax, tense, relax, tense. And it's such a good way to apply pressure because he's relaxed and then he tenses up and like he's going to attack you. And he's like, he doesn't even need to move. And he, he applies pressure. And then when he does move, it's so much more pressure. Oh, a bit touched by... By... Mm, I don't actually know how to say that name. Just applying good pressure with his feet, and um, but not over committing to anything. In keeping distance, waiting for a good opportunity to go. Um, same kind of a deal. Oh my gosh, great! There's like a three action flush there. I'll look her back up in the other place. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll see it later. Uh, we aren't. We've moved. They're not here. Well, oh well. Sorry, I really want to watch alone. So we're gonna um, do a quick little run through and if you can't find them here, will um, go back to Ing and, and Minobe. No. 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 So probably... Feeling about to lose. Banyai. 
That's them in the back there. I think. This is six. It's not them in the back there. It's them in the back there. They are on the green piece, and it's just not recording. They just zoomed in like crazy. All right, good enough. Four three Heinzer, we haven't missed much. Looks like activity in green. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Um, up close and personal with the back of Heinzer's head. And it gets another touch, or maybe not. Because I guess good to know that the stream is totally laggy because I'm gonna have to deal with this later. And I put all the ever touch videos. Oh, you gotta finish that one. Where's the killer instinct? Pushing, hands are pushing. Look at look at his arm, because that's all we can really see. He's so um, forward and back with it. A lot of people go forward and then come back like this. He's so keeps it such a good straight line. It's one of the reasons he's so dangerous, and people don't really think about it. Okay, this isn't going well for for Sir D, but we'll watch anyway. Uh, seven three, he's gotta he's gotta make something happen here. Yeah, Hans have figured out that he can just push the read hard. And so you can't really do anything about it. Um, how are we in the future on the overlay? This keeps happening, and I don't under, I never understand how it happens. We're like ten seconds ahead of schedule. And they're arguing something. But we didn't get to see what he did, so we couldn't argue it. No way, ref says. No way. Three touch is not insurmountable. Uh, it's only is there, and he's a phenomenal coach. He'll be able to sit, sit read straight. Um, we're 15 seconds ahead of schedule on the overlay somehow. What even do you do to video that gives you 15 seconds of processing time? I don't even know. I do a lot of video work. Well, here's the thing. Uh, we started watching. We stopped watching. Hunter got five. We started watching. And Laurent Sergei got two back. The overlay is fed from a fencing time relay that's fed directly from the box. Yeah, that's true. Um, the overlay is, is on schedule. And I guess 
You're right. So technically, I guess the feed is is 15 seconds behind, but um, that's just a lot of video processing time. I don't like. I don't know how you get 15 seconds. If you're getting 15 seconds, and you should be a lot more, or should be less. Maybe it's a just bad internet in the venue, so they're uh, buffering buffering the video. Still, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, Sarid. Lazy flush. Arm down, arm back. Trying to go around the parry, but he just gets easy countered. High tip, low tip. Miss, miss lunge, but like a nice long lunge. Stay, keep hands are away. Goes low. There's more stuff to keep make Heinzer think. And that was the double we saw before. I think. It's so hard to do this with the overlay that off. It's nice to see Suryad being a little bit more active here. Uh, at the end of the first one, he was so um, into the just holding down the fort on his back line it was just not a not a winning strategy and now he's going out and, and getting it and he, it might not work either but um hands is very good but it's a, a like a more a better more active way to fence especially when you're down Six. It's getting worse. We're 20 seconds up now. Oh my god. This will be the last spot anyway. I'm getting tired. I've got things to do tonight. Alone, 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 alone. Push, push. Alonso is jumping at everything Heinzer does. Um, not much. He's hoping to react and, and get it out, but he's just not able to. It's all set up on Heinzer's tempo and timing. Fortune to enter a great stream. Oh, there's a touch from Sarid though. See in a few seconds. Nice. I love those those double steps that make your opponent go back. It sets up, you can set up so much off of it. You have the great single single tempo lunge there. Keep it high. Keep it good. Arm first. Just he's so long he can say play it very safe. Ooh, he got that one. Very good. That's the that's the kind of hold it till you can get the touch that you need. He missed two or three before that just couldn't quite do it.
30 seconds left. Um, two touches, one touch. What a touch. It's a, sort of an opposition eight there. There you clean to the body. Now we got lots of time. Hines is gonna try something surprising. Yep, there it is. Oh! Wow, that was incredible. That was a phenomenal pair from Sergei. They're going to overtime for the fourth time in five bouts here. Twenty-two seconds, one touch. Let's see if we can go get it. Oh, it's twelve ten. Oh. Well, all right, so Heinzer gets one back and then it's about. Yep. Still a really, you know, I can't help but look at the, the overlay. A really, really good comeback from uh, from Sergid. One second left, gets one back. 15 12 against Heiser for is really good. Well, thank you all for joining me on this stream. I'm gonna probably try to stream again tomorrow, catch up on the 